The SNDF says it's still firmly on the ground, assisting communities whose livelihoods were disrupted by the KwaZulu-Natal floods in April. General Ruzani uh, Mapwanya addressed the media in Durban. More than 450 people lost their lives and more than 80 people are still missing. The SANDF is distributing humanitarian aid to affected communities around Durban. General Mapana uh, says apart from distributing humanitarian relief, their engineers and military health care workers are providing much needed assistance in the construction and health services. Our water provisioning system are currently churning, about, churning out 10,000 sockets of purified water per hour for ongoing distribution to identified communities with a water purification system in place at Inanda Dam. 69 water bankers are also on the ground ferrying water to communities in need. Road reconstruction elements are hard at work at Kwa Tolozi, Kwa Mdegazi, Kwa Ndengezi, and Inanda. Military doctors, psychologists, and nurses are currently deployed at Prince Mshieni Hospital in Mlazi for health care services support to enhance well-being and quality of life. Three helicopters and two fixed-wing aircraft continue providing an added support to search and rescue and transportation of essential services to affected communities. A lot is being done to commit everything possible from the military side, resources permitting to restore hope to citizens of this province. There still remains a lot to be done to get the citizens here on their feet again, but a glimmer of hope is starting to faintly appear. As a parting shot, let me humbly remind the affected and afflicted people of this province that regardless of how daunting and intimidating this devastation appears to be, working together in unison, we shall overcome even this setback and see better days.